What's up guys, it's me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome to week 3 of the Pokemon Premier League. I uh, apologise that this video is uh, as late as it is, it is a week late, I'm trying to get this and week 4 up at the same time, just so I'm back up to date. Long story short, basically, um, the weekend is meant to be uploaded to the Monday. I was visiting uh, Shroom Raver and some friends in Brighton, um, and then when I got back the next day, we were hit by all of the snow. Um, that meant my brother's friends, um, who all work in the city where I live, um, pretty much stayed around mine all week because they couldn't get home because they were stuck by the uh, stuck in here due to the ice and the snow. So they all stayed around, and I had no quiet time space to record week three or week four. So here I am doing it now for you guys. Um, we're up against K to the 2. I'm not going to go over this too much because it's quite a quick battle. Um, the video has been up on his side for about a week and I'm sure if you guys have wanted to see the video you've probably seen it by now anyway. But I'll quickly go over the team um, of what I can remember. Um, I've got Choice Specs, uh, Salamence. We have got uh, Grassy MZ, Raichu, Mega Aerodactyl, Physically Defensive, Colba Berry, um, Delmise, uh, Unaware, I think Mixed Defensive, Clefable, and a, I want to say, a Specially Defensive Arcanine. Um, as you can see, I mean, my matchup against Cast Team was okay, but the one Pokemon in particular which I completely lose to is Mega Tyranitar. Um, because, as you can see, it can hit my whole defensive core of Delmise, Arcanine, and Clefable extremely hard. Um, Delmise is obviously weak to the Dark, uh, Arcanine weak to Rock, and Clefable is weak to, I believe, it gets Iron Head. Which you can easily run, um, but it doesn't want to take stone edges anyway too too well. Um, and obviously my offensive mons aren't going to take any hits either. So uh, from the Pokemon I didn't bring, um, which were what was it Gastrodon? I think would have been the best answer for Tyranitar, but even then, you know, it's not a physically defensive monster. Um, quickly going over cast team, as you can see, we've got the Infernape, Zapdos, Garboda, Nine Tails, Quagsire, and Tyranitar. Pretty much a team I expected. I was quite confident, um, as long as T-Tars kept quiet, I could actually do quite well this game. Um, looking at the team, I'm going to lead with the um, Specs Salamence, um, because he's got a pretty decent matchup. Obviously, he has got the um, the Alone Ninetales. Um, Infernape could be Scarfed, so I, I want to lead Salamence. I think he'll think I'm Scarfed too. Um, I'm going to stay in and click five last turn one because if he doesn't lead nine tails, I expect nine tails would be a switch in. Um, because if I click Draco Meter against anything else, it takes a huge amount of damage if it doesn't die. So um, we're going to lead off with the Salamence and we're going to click Choice Specs uh, five last turn one because we're expecting this uh, this nine tails to be a switch in. So Kyle does issue us a challenge. Um, as we're going to see, he does actually decide to lead off with his Infernape, his Mixtape, the only Infernape name you can use. Screw Goku and every other, like, Dragon Ball Z reference used for this monkey. Um, we're going to lead with Superman, though, and like I said, we're going to click Fire Blast turn 1 because I expect his switch in to be um, his uh, Nine Tails. However, um, looking later on, I understand why he didn't do this now. He goes into his Quagsire. It's probably Fizz Death expecting a physically offensive um, Earthquake from my uh, Salamence, but I do go for the Fire Blast, and as you can see, this is definitely physically bulky, because Specs Fire Blast does like 35 to 40% to this Quagsire. I do get a Lucky Burn, which is quite nice, it negates the leftovers, but he's probably figured out by this point, I am Choice Specs because of that damage, and I am going to have to switch out here. Um, if I did go for Turn 1 Draco, this thing could have potentially died, which would have been amazing, um, but it's not to be, so I am going to switch out into my uh, Delmice, as he pulls the double, obviously expecting this, and goes back into Infernape. Infernape's a pretty safe play, because Earthquake, I mean, looking at Quagsire, Earthquake, uh, Earthquake, Fire Blast could have still done, like, uh, probably half of this Infernape. Uh, but I am going to switch out into my Clefable. I'm pretty sure I'm actually Kebia Berry, because I'm expecting it to be running Gunk Shot. But that Fire Blast doesn't do anywhere near enough to kill me, and with the Kebia Berry, I can live this Gunk Shot. But he does decide to switch, which makes me believe he's probably a Scarf Dape. Um, but I'm still not sure because he did switch out turn one against my Salamence. Um, I gave the Stealth Rock here because uh, weakening that alone and Nine Tails would be useful. Um, but now this Garbode is in. I'm not too worried about him setting up spikes and toxic spikes. So I do have Defog on my Salamence, which is why I'm going to switch it in here. Um, and plus Specs Draco, he knows I'm Specs by now. Um, will be doing some great damage to this thing. He does go for the toxic spikes. Um, I'm not too worried because I've got Aerodactyl, which is immune. I've got Salamence, which is immune. Um, and I want to say I've got... Actually, no, that might be it that's immune, but I have got that Defog. However, I'm going to go for the Draco Meteor here because I want this being dead or severely weakened. Um, probably a misplay, although I don't think the Toxic... or sorry, the Poison actually plays too much part in this. Um, I do take the Gunk Shot, however, and because of the Intimidate, we take that fairly comfortably. Now, 
Kyle will die to another Draco here, and he knows I'm choice specs at this point because of the damage done to Cragsai, so I'm expecting a switch in to the um, Nine Tails, which I don't think will be scarfed. However, um, Kyle does stay in a gunk shot, so I, I feel like Arrow is a decent play because it does, you know, resist that poison. He is intimidated and does about 20%. Um, so I'm going to Mega Revolve here. It's a chance to get my free uh, Mega Evolution. If he hasn't got a choice scarf, I outspeed everything on his team. Um, so I'm going to just stay in a click Earthquake. I fought long and hard about this play. I remember doing this. Um, I actually think I remember going to the toilet at this point. Um, <laughs> and I click Earthquake and I take this thing down. So we're 6-5 up. He's got one layer of Toxic Spikes up, which I can get rid of later with my Salamence if needed. Um, so down goes the Garboda. And in comes Nelson, which is the Quagsire. I can't really touch this thing. Um, don't have any grass coverage. And I think even if I ran Hidden Power Grass on this thing, it wouldn't kill this Quagsire anyway. So I'm going to switch out into my Clefable. I believe I'm unaware, so I'm not going to be... I, I am going to be taking Poison Damage. Um, I was unaware, obviously, to try and take on a Tyranitar as best as I can. Because looking at his team composition, as soon as I saw it, I figured that Ninetales would probably be like a bulkier thing with Aurora Veil to help set up a sweep with the Tyranitar, which is terrifying because that will completely destroy my team. Um, he does want to switch out here because I've realised he's physically defensive for Aero. He can't really take any special hits. In comes the um, Ninetales. If I'd have clicked Flamethrower here, turn one, that would have been fantastic. Um, I don't think I'd have killed, but it would have done a lot more damage than this Moonblast is going to do. Uh, it does a decent amount still, don't get me wrong. It does like 30-40%. Um, and I do get the special attack drop, so I'm quite comfortable in staying in here. I don't think he can kill me with uh, like a Blizzard now, unless he's like Specs or Life Orb, I don't think. Um, so I'm going to just stay in, but he does go for the Aurora Veil, and this is where I'm like, ah, oh, crap. Um, I'm going to have to play well here to try and time out this... Um, Aurora Veil, um, and actually, you know, keep Tyranitar at bay. Now, I get a burn here, which might seem lucky, but is actually quite unfortunate. It means this Ninetales is going to die, and the longer this Ninetales stays on the field, the longer the Aurora Veil has to wear out. Um, and now because I've burnt it, this thing's on the timer, and it gives him a free switch into Tyranitar earlier, which is bad. Um, in hindsight, I wish I had Brick Break on my team now, because obviously, one, it would hit the Tyranitar hard, and two, it would break this Aurora Veil, but I don't think I actually have anything that could run the Brick Break other than Raichu. So in comes the Aero, I'm just going to kill this thing. Um, I'm completely forgetting it had Ice Shard, but if it does, it's not going to kill me from this range anyway. And I do kill the Alone and Ninetales. So Aero at this point, I think is 8-0, and uh, or 8-1. and one. Um, 8 kills is not bad in 3 games. I don't tend to get like loads of kills with one Mon, so that's quite nice. In comes the Tyranitar. Now, I think we've wasted two turns of Aurora Veil vale at this point. Um, so three more. However, that's still enough for him to set up two Dragon Dancers, and that's all he needs. And I nearly brought Raw on my um, Mega Aero, but instead I decided to put Roost on instead of Raw, and boy was that a miss, a part of misprep. A big, big bit of misprep there. Um, I go for the Earthquake something and right, um, I'm going to weaken this thing as much as I can. And this is where Lucario would have come into play. I know I'm still going to outspeed after the um, Dragon Dance, and I kind of make a, a misplay, I make loads of misplays in this event. I'm just going to spoil it for you now, guys, this Tyranitar sweeps me from here. Um, here, if I'd have clicked Earthquake, I would have put him in range of Power Whip. Um, but instead, I go for the Stone Edge, thinking a crit will do more, and then it'll make things a lot easier for me. Um, Kyle, I, I was talking to Kyle about after the game, and he was like, no, I think that's a fair enough play, I understand why you've done it. Um, but at this point, I have no switch-ins. I, I mean, I probably could have sacked off Raichu there, because I think Aero could have won the game from here on its own. Um, once Tyranitar's gone. Um, but we're going to bring in Delmice here, and again, this is a misplay, it's a second misplay. Um, what I should have done is I should have gone into Arcanine, because one, I could have got an Extreme Speed off, while it would have only done like 5% damage, that 5% could be crucial in a roll for Power Whip, um, because depending on its investment, uh, I believe it's now a roll as Power Whip will kill, um, and I would have got an Intimidate off earlier, but instead I switch in on a Crunch, and I do survive with 5, and I'm not especially defensive, I don't worry about that, I'm actually an offensive Arcanine because it kind of screws him over. Um, I do live, but poison takes me down. If I'd have brought it in, I could have gone for that. I think I was choice band actually, choice band extreme speed, got the damage off that I needed to kill this thing with power whip. Because I'm Cobbleberry at minus one, I take about half, I can live it. Um, but this is where either me clicking Earthquake and getting that extra damage off, or coming in and clicking extreme speed, and um, killing this, uh, I would have been able to kill this thing with power whip is what I'm trying to say. Because you can see it lives with like, the sliver. Um, so that's really frustrating. 
the sand ends now. Um, I mean, if I had Lucario, I wouldn't have had to try and play this sack game to stop this thing. Um, but he's free just to click crunch now and kill me. What I could have also done, potentially, was I could have gone into my Salamence first, then Arcanine. Um, <coughs> and risked him missing a Stone Edge. But I go into Salamence now. He's going to be at neutral. I believe I can live a crunch because he's down at neutral attack. So Stone Edge, um, if he hits... Uh, sorry, if he misses, I have a chance. If he doesn't, then I'm kind of screwed. Um, but he does hit the Stone Edge and Salamence goes down. Now it's my Raichu against the world at this point. Um, still a chance for me to win if he misses the Stone Edge if he hasn't got Earthquake. But he could click Crunch and that would probably still kill me. I'm also poisoned, so I'm on a timer. Um, if I had Fake Out Extreme Speed, <laughs> that would have been quite nice. But uh, sadly, we do go down. And uh, that is that is a nice sweep for the Tyranitar. This Tyranitar... Carl is, is using it to devastating effect. I'm pretty sure it's done the same to Ellie. Um, it's got a ridiculous amount of kills. I think it might be the same as Aero. Eight in two games he's bought it too. So, yeah, Carl, well played. Hands up. I Once I saw the Aurora Veil go up, I could have stopped the Tyranitar, and I think I still could have come back into the game. I just misplayed hard so badly. I kind of panicked, as I think a lot of uh, bad players like me would have done when they see a Mega Tyranitar. That's at plus two, plus two, but... You learn from these mistakes, um, and I won't let it happen again. It's also the first game that isn't a 1-0 for me this season, so, you know, it's only it's the first game out of three where, you know, I, I think I've played bad, and I've uh, I've truly deserved to lose that game. So, yeah, well played, Carl. Make sure you check out his links below, as well as all the other coaches in the PPL, um, Discord, Shop, uh, YouTube, Twitter, everything like that. Um, week 4 will be coming up straight away against Omega Jolteon. I know a lot of Omega Jolteon fans are out there, so um, come and watch, but please don't spam the Go Go Omega song in the comments. If you do, I'll be very upset. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. I will see you for week 4 against Omega next week. Bye.